Warning, this narration may contain content that may not be suitable for all audiences. Listener's discretion is advised. Furthermore, if you go on to enjoy this narration, be sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you can stay notified of all my uploads. Thank you. Adverts and commercials, despite being rather annoying for all of us to endure, have been a staple in TV programming forever. Usually, these are fun, boring, or just generic. However, there are the few cases when these particular advertisements step away from the typical format and become disturbing. Dim the lights and grab your remote control, because today, I present to you the top 10 most disturbing TV adverts ever shown. If you're sensitive to anything truly creepy, I advise you to step around with caution. If not, let's get into it. Number 10. Zombie, phones for you. This particular advert was made by Phones For You in the Halloween season in 2011. This shows a very scared and alarmed man running through the woods trying to hide from creatures we don't see. That is, until he rounds a corner and comes face to face with a pale, dead zombie. The zombie then advertises the phone and asks the person why they aren't using it yet. The creepiness comes from the total unexpected parts in this advertisement. Who would have guessed that a zombie would be chasing down a person to advertise things? More so, why would you even need to include a zombie in a phone advert? For whatever reason, this has stuck with many people, and has become one of the more creepy adverts on TV. But is it truly creepy for you? I'll let the clip speak for itself. Oh dear, the Samsung Taco Icon is only $59.95 on pay as you go. Phones for you, missing our tails will warn you. Number 9, Car by Cafe. Now this is probably the most famous advert on this list, as it's been making its rounds on the internet for who knows how long at this point. Regardless, this is definitely one of the more creepy adverts. At first glance, it may not seem like anything special. Just a car driving by a green, peaceful looking forest area. With peaceful, happy music playing within the background. However, if you are bad with headphones and can't handle extreme sound, I advise you to mute your audio, because when the car is about to leave the view, this happens. A zombie goes full frame of the camera and screams his lungs out. It then cuts to advertise coffee, saying it will keep you awake for all of your day-to-day -day tasks. As you can probably guess, the freaky and scary parts of this come from the unexpected nature of the zombie appearing. Nowadays this is looked more upon as a joke, rather than something truly disturbing. But I imagine the kids turning on the TV and seeing this for the first time not knowing what will happen, would truly send them shaking in their boots. I suggest keeping a mug of coffee close by, because after viewing this one, you just might not sleep. But you're always welcome to try. Number 8. Mental Wealth. PlayStation. Now this advert is simply creepy, depending on your own personal viewpoints and everything. I can take a guess, and say that this advert was simply not made 
for horror. I think it was really trying to be genuine with its message, trying to be uplifting and happy. However, it's the fact that they made the girl, who was talking to us about being happy and positive, creepy, unknowingly. They made her eyes very off-putting to look at. I can tell you for the first time, when I saw this advert, it did genuinely creep me out. But the question remains, does it creep you out? Let's roll the clip and find out. Let me tell you what bugs me about human endeavour. I've never been the human in question. Have you? Mankind went to the moon. I don't even know where Grimsby is. Forget progress by proxy. Land on your own moon. It's no longer about what they can achieve out there in your behalf, but what we can experience up here in our own time. It's called mental wealth. <laughs> Number seven, Kinder Surprise. Like with the previous entry, I'm sure that this advert was initially made to not frighten their viewers, and simply advertise a product that we're all familiar with, the Kinder Egg. But alas, in those time periods, bad decisions were made. Such cases are with this advert, depicting Humpty Dumpty, advertising and showing off how cool the Kinder Egg surprise is to the kids. But what makes this advert particularly creepy, and disturbing, is how he looks. His face is truly terrifying. It's stretched and unproportioned to hell. And he looks nothing like how a friendly human should look. Instead of being inviting, he is off-putting. It would make me want to stay away from their product. I'm pretty sure that this is one Humpty Dumpty. We would not help get off the wall. We wouldn't hire any King's men to put him back together. We would leave him shattered on the ground. So tell me, would you buy a Kinder Egg after seeing this? Or would you simply walk away? Let me know. You both shaky. Me on Scrabbly. Chocka Doobie! Dumbly Chocka Doobie! Pop Swabble! <laughs> Toy! Yodel Yum and Choco Scrum with multi Pop Swabble Dies! Oh, Grubby! <laughs> He's Grubble now! Snoggo! Whee! Kinder Surprise from Ferrero. Number 6 Baby Laugh A Lot by Remco. I'm sure a few of you in the audience are afraid of creepy looking dolls. Dolls are supposed to be friendly, inviting, and comforting for our kids. But more often than not, these toys can come off as scary. Such case as Baby Laugh A Lot. This advert shows the toy, and how it makes everybody in the world giggle and laugh when they play with it. But the advert oddly had the opposite effect. The creepy, eerie smile of the doll as it giggles maniacally and cutely can be very off-putting to people. But I say the creepiest part of this advert is when even the narrator begins bursting into uncontrollable giggles, and everybody around them also begins to chuckle maniacally. Instead of bringing giggles, this advert brings fear. This would often make parents second-guess buying dolls to their kids. But what do you think? Do you think this is nothing but harmless entertainment for the children? Or do you truly think it is creepy. Tell me. Listen to Remco's baby laugh a lot. <laughs> You're listening to baby laugh a lot. <laughs> she's the funniest doll you've ever seen. <laughs> Just push the button and she starts to giggle. <laughs> Get Baby Laugh-A-Lot by Remco! <laughs> Number 5. Little Baby's Ice Cream I really feel like I don't have to say much about this advert, 
to prove how truly disturbing it really is. But I have to. So I'll tell you what this advert depicts. It depicts a human person, completely slavered, with the titular Little Baby's Ice Cream, as a voice in the background monologues about how good the ice cream is, how good it tastes, and why it is helpful for the babies. At first the man is seen eating the ice cream normally, as he stares, dead in the camera, without blinking, without losing eye contact. Where this advert begins to take a dark turn, however, is when the man takes the spoon, plunges it into his own head, and begins to consume himself. All the while, it continues to monologue about how it is so good for kids. I think for nearly every person who saw this advert when it first aired, stayed away from ice cream altogether. This would certainly make me lose my hankering for the stuff. This is one of the most famous cases of a creepy advert though, and has certainly been well known amongst the community. But is it scary to you? And would you lose your hankering for ice cream after watching this? I'll let you figure that one out on your own. There's good reason for my glistening skin. And how I shine. And how my pores are so clean and clear. I eat little baby's ice cream. It keeps me young. It keeps me light on my feet. I spring from activity to activity. I love my job. I love my life. When you eat little baby's ice cream, you'll wink and nod and hug and high-five each other with great enthusiasm. This is a special time. Little Baby's Ice Cream. Ice cream is a feeling. Number 4. 13 from Morton Towers. This advert is special because I remember that this one used to scare me as a child. I was a massive fan of Morton Towers and still am to this very day. I was very young when this advert started airing on TV, and it certainly scared me. This depicts a little girl within the dark forest at Orton Towers, saying the catchphrase and infamous quote of the ride. What quote would that be? Roll the clip. If you go down to the woods, Thirteen pounds entry on Friday the thirteenth. So next time you're going to the woods, be sure to bring somebody along with you, and don't go alone. This advert is definitely scary. Certainly not what anybody would expect to be used for an advertisement of a roller coaster. We would expect something pleasant and high energy, not low, slow, and creepy. Number three. Sugar Rice Crinkles If any of you were afraid of clowns, I advise you to click away. Because this commercial heavily features a clown, advertising a bowl of cereal, the titular Sugar Rice Crinkles. There isn't really much for me to say about this one. A creepy clown, advertising something that we're supposed to like, but this would actually drive us away from it. Thank goodness nowadays, People have stopped using clowns to advertise things that are supposed to be nice, and instead limiting them to the horror genre. I don't think kids these days would appreciate clowns trying to advertise their favourite bowl of cereal. I think it's for the best. <laughs> Breakfast! I'm hungry! Take 
take it from Carinkles, that's me. The best breakfast under the big top is post sugar rice Carinkles. So crinkly, so delicious, so different. Each grain of rice in sugar rice Carinkles is crinkled with honey and sugar. It's so good, I crinkle every time I eat it. Yep. No matter what other rice cereal you've ever tried, you'll love post-sugar rice crinkles best of all. Honey and sugar make it different and wonderful. A circus of fun to eat. So you crinkle on down to the store for post-sugar rice crinkles, the greatest cereal treat on earth. Number two, Spider, the Audi Oris 4 advert. This advert depicts a car, the titular Audi Oris 4, hung up in a spider web, as the sound and music continue to become more and more creepy and unsettling. It zooms in and out sporadically, playing sounds that indicates a spider is moving among the cars. Now if you're arachnophobic, now if you're arachnophobic, I recommend covering your eyes, because this is what happens. <laughs> I have no idea why they decided this was a good idea. The fear of spiders is one of the most common fears in the entire world. So trying to use spiders to convince somebody to buy something is a horrible business idea. But alas, it gave birth to this truly scary advert that has resonated with a lot of people in the world. Would you buy a car if this was the advert that was used? Or would you stay away? You be the judge. Number 1. The most scariest and terrifying advert ever made. The Grubhub advert. This is one of the most scariest and unsettling pieces of media ever conceived. After watching this advert, I stayed awake at night, not knowing if the pregnant lady dancing while eating a salad will come and haunt me. Okay, <laughs> enough joking, but seriously Grubhub is a terrible advert and I don't know why they decided Delivery Dance was a good job. Let's get on to the real number one spot. Number one, the Japanese tire commercial. This is genuinely the most scary advert I've seen, and when I first watched it, I legitimately jumped back in fear and closed the advert, vowing to never ever watch it again. Naturally, I did have to see little bits of it for this video, but understand, it truly is scary. What makes it scary? I shouldn't have to say. The clip speaks for itself. If you have any heart conditions, or if you genuinely cannot handle true scariness, seriously click away or cover your eyes. This is your only warning. Roll it. And this has been the top 10 scary TV commercials ever shown. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see me do a part 2, be sure to like, comment and subscribe, 
hit the bell so you can stay up to date with all of my videos. And comment down below what did you think was the scariest advert. I'm the Dark Author. Next time you turn on your TV, be careful, because you never know what would pop up. Sweet dreams.